Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is NHL 97, released in 1996 by EA on the Sega Mega Drive and or Genesis. Now, this is gameplay with a difference because I'm going to try and play it when I talk and explain something that's very dear and I hold close to my heart, which means I'm going to suck at this even more than I normally suck. I got challenged by someone in my comment section a couple of weeks ago about why I always have a Montreal Canadian jersey or why I love the Habs or why I speak so highly of them and I was called a fashion victim and you know stuff like that and like oh you just buy jerseys to you know be that fucking bloke who has jerseys well first of all jerseys are fucking cool um, second of all I'm not that bloke there is a reason um, I have a love for the Montreal Canadiens but you never stop to ask did you? So it's going to be me playing this game because I thought it'd be good background because it's hockey. I love hockey. Um, and explain why I'm a Habs fan. Right. Don't expect any cool gameplay. Right. Team select. Well, obviously, I think you know the team where. I, oh, this blister on my thumb is really starting to hurt. No, don't want to go All Stars. Hang on. Eastern, Western. Uh, am I just picking fucking leagues? No. Thank you. There we go. Right. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, Montreal. Right, let's get into this. Uh, so, Montreal, Florida. Right. The reason I support the Habs is quite simple. I took a massive life um, kind of change, lifestyle change, choice in um, 2003, I believe. Sorry. Um, when I was off the chance to go move to Montreal and, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, be seconded to my company. I have no idea what the controls are. Hang on. All right. Oh. Shit. Yeah. Had a chance to. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Must pass. No, that's shoot. B shoot. Right. That's good. We like that. We like that. We know what we're doing. He had a chance to be seconded to my, um, you know, the the Canadian half of my couple of A's pass. Oh fuck. I'm the keeper. Why am I doing shit like that? Oh bollocks. And so I took it. I knew nothing about it. You know, I, I, I've been on vacation to Toronto a few times and I absolutely adored Canada. I don't know. Well, based on Toronto, I thought it was a wonderful, wonderful country. Right. That's pass, I think. No, that is, no, that's fucking flip. And so, yeah, so I took the chance and I, I took this great leap into the unknown. Oh, no, you don't. And uh, yeah, gave everything up, sold all my shit off. No, you don't, you fucking wanker. Boom! Oh, look at that! Fucking Gary Lineker right there. Um, yeah, gave all my shit up. This is such a bad choice again to try and talk about these experiences with. But yeah, gave all my shit up, sold it away, um, packed a bag. Um, the song All That You Can't Leave Behind by U2 always reminds me of this moment. And um, yeah, moved. And I loved it. I embraced it. It was wonderful. But I knew of hockey, and I like hockey because we actually have a team in Bristol. I'm just going to slap shot from far away. And yeah, it, it, you know, it, it, but it wasn't a sport. No, you don't, you knob jockey. Thank you. Fuck off. Oh, no, 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 wanker. Oh, you fucking prick. Again, wrong game to talk and play over the top of. Um, but yeah, so I thought, you know. Give it a go. I went there. Yeah. Um, ended up dating a girl who was then my girlfriend and still my girl, current girlfriend, which is a massively complicated long distance relationship. But people, if you love someone, it's worth you know persevering with. Oh, block my past, you know, jockey. Oh no, 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 no. And um, yeah, she got me into hockey. And my first apartment was just um over the block from. Oh, you fucking wanker! Why'd you have to save it from Atwater? Um, sorry, no, it was at Atwater, but it's just over the block from um, the, the AMC Forum, which is the original home of the Habs until it got moved to the Bell Centre. Now it's a cinema and like an amusement 
arcade and stuff but if you go into it there's like a little set of stairs that go up to like a platform and there's fiberglass people sat dressed in Habs uniforms that song sounds familiar um, sat on some of the original seats that were still there anyway I didn't know anything about it but when I started dating this girl she was a massive massive hockey fan I got her into football I'm not saying soccer and she got me into hockey and we got some like corporate tickets and stuff and my company gave me a few tickets as well they were corporate tickets as well and so we went together to watch the um how do I start watch the uh the Montreal Canadiens play now obviously the English one I'm probably going to butcher this but they are pretty much the most successful hockey team in North America and one of the old someone twat this bloke one of the um the oldest uh, I think I could be wrong but I want to say they have the most no you don't you dickhead um, Stanley Cups they they you know they do and outside the AMC forum there's a whole bunch of like you know brass plates in the floor that um, celebrate or commemorate every commemorate um, Stanley Cup that they won I really should have picked up I should have picked Operation Wolf to talk over this pass the ball pass the ball you prick it's a puck but yeah, so we went to a bunch of games and I absolutely fell in love with hockey. I thought it was just one of the greatest, most sort of spectator involving sports ever. You know, in, in, in all three of the breaks, people would come out on the ice, they, well, first of all, they would polish it for the next time. Um, there we go. No, no, you don't. Boom. Oh, you blocked it, you wanker. Um, yeah, they would polish the ice for the next, you know, sort of, you know, third of the game or whatever. And then people before they did that would come out in little carts, you know, um, like little motor carts or go-carts, I should say. And, um, like, fire t-shirts out of guns and the crowd, little mini glimpse would, um, oh, bollocks, would also come out in, you know, and float above the crowd. And you could see the, um, the people who would commentate on the sports. They were, they were like in this platform above the stadium and they would, you know, just, just involve you. I can't talk and play at the same time, but there were screens. You could see, even if you were up in the gold and had cheap tickets like I did. But yeah, so like little mini blinks would come around and drop t-shirts uh, into the audience. And I, I, I'd never experienced anything like that because I love football in the UK, but that was so kind of, don't get me wrong, pricey, but spectator including inclusive or incorporating I should say but yeah and that's the reason I love the Habs because I think in my entire time in Canada I must have seen them like 32 times don't you fucking score you wanker um, I survived the block the, the block out the, the original lockout and I was really annoyed it was the first year I was there and then you know it ended and I was just kind of like yes hockey's back and so I fell in love with the Habs. It's quite simply, you know, that obvious and simple that, you know, you, 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 you try and involve yourself or, you know, include yourself in the culture that is around you. Um, not because you have to, but you should do. And, um, yeah, I just, oh yeah, how do you like them apples? Not too bad, you prick. Are we going to fight? No, we're not. And, yeah, the, the Habs, the Bell Centre, going for St. Hubert, uh, St. Hubert, sorry, Chicken, oh, I always went for ribs. They had fucking amazing ribs. Before the game, it was just one of those moments that just, just made the sport that much special. And so when people see me wearing my Habs jersey and laugh at me and punk fight me and say, like, oh, you're fucking so like you want to be popular. No, I'm not. Um, I lived in Canada for four years. Uh, I lived in Montreal. Uh, initially, my first apartment was over the road from the MC, which is obviously the original home of the Habs. And later on, when I lived more downtown, I could basically walk to the Belt Centre. I saw a great many games. I saw many games in pubs from colleagues, friends from work, and my girlfriend. And yeah. It, it, hockey was like a disease, it infected me and it's why I support the Habs and I still do and I love this sport, it's just a shame it's so fucking balls rippedly, bollocky hard to find a cable package in this company, company, country where you can watch it, but yeah, so for all those people out there who say like, oh you're just wearing shirts to show off, no I'm not the, I wear a Habs shirt because I love the Habs alright, anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later